Hello guys. Um, what you're looking at is my mother's trailer. She lives right next to me and uh, I am looking at her through my window but I figured um, something different to look at. So that is not a stranger's trailer. That is my mother's trailer. I have permission. <laughs> um, but <clears throat> what I want to share today is um, I believe that I told y'all about, um, I had a vision before, or two visions before, one um, as a dove, a white dove going through my Bible, a couple of white doves going through my Bible, and another vision was, my first ever vision that I've ever had was last year in December, and it was um, right before I was about to go to bed, and right when I closed my eyes, um, it was a humongous tsunami that I felt in my spirit um, at the time was New York, but I wasn't too sure. But I knew in my heart that it was New York, and I know that God confirmed to me today, indeed, it, it is New York. Um, so it was a tsunami that happened in New York or around New York, somewhere around there. And it was super huge that it went over a whole bunch of buildings. Like the water, the waves were, I can't even describe it. It went all over like the most biggest buildings. Uh, it looked like about 10 or 15 different buildings. I didn't see no people in it. And um, I was viewing, the vision was like I was looking at it from the sea like from the water, but I can see a long, uh, a long side. I can see from the coast or from the bridge that there was water um, that was going over the buildings. I wasn't actually inside of the city. I was like where the water was. It was kind of, it was very unique. Um, but I have an urgency to come on to share this because we all know that we are in the last days and don't know if it's if it's going to come while we're still here or if it's going to happen after the rapture but I do believe that it's going to happen very soon um, when I was in my closet this morning I was in prayer and talking to talking to God um, because I like to pray and then afterwards I just start just talking to him randomly and asking him questions and the first couple of things that came to my mind was uh, that because I had asked him I said Lord is it indeed in New York and he said indeed yes and um, it's even it's stronger ever more now it's just a feeling I can't ex uh, explain so I don't know if you if whoever is living around New York or in New York um, just know just know that if you are truly his uh, child his bride you have nothing to worry about no matter what happens um, this is not to scare nobody or to put anybody in fear but this is an urgency uh, to make a new video about uh, the first vision I've ever had, which was last year. And when I uh, I had I have my vision that I had put up last year, but I didn't really go into it into it, um, and I didn't tell you where it was. But I knew in my spirit it was New York. But I wanted to make sure. And indeed, today he confirmed to me in New York or around New York uh, that this will take place. Um, and we also know um, that uh, North Korea, with Kim Jong Jung, whatever his name is, uh, he's, they call him what, the missile man or whatever, or the rocket man. And so I'm just saying that to prepare and not, not necessarily to pack up your bags 
and move out of the state of New York, what I'm saying is to prepare with the Lord. Get in, um, get ready for the Lord. Make sure your house is clean. Make sure that you are doing what you're supposed to be doing, obeying the Lord, um, and praying heavenly. Because I'm telling you, prayers, when you start praying, God will start speaking to you. And when you start opening up your Bible, He will start showing you things and, and confirming to you. Um, but brothers and sisters, this is not, again, this is not a scare tactic video or a video to make you move out of the state of the New York. Because if you are his child, um, you are protected. You are safe. I, uh, I just wanted to share that today because it, it was an urgency in my soul uh, this morning. And I do love y'all. And I just, uh, I, I will continue to pray and pray for the world and pray for the United States and, and all of the things that are going on right now. But I love you and I hope that you'll have a blessed day.